Do you know that? Right now, there are millions of mites crawling on your beautiful face. You're not mistaken. There are hundreds, thousands, even millions of these mites eating, sleeping, mating, and dying on your face day and night. Each eyelash has two parasitic mites, and each of our eyelids has around 90 to 160 eyelashes, so you can imagine the number. And in each hair follicle is a colony, which can contain hundreds of these mites. I can't do the math here, so you can calculate and imagine how big the number is. Without further ado, the microscope will show you the culprit right now. The image you are seeing is of a pimple being squeezed, and the substance being expelled is sebum, a mixture of oil, dead skin cells, and even hair follicles. And here it is, Demodex, a type of mite that lives on human facial skin. Under 100 times magnification, it appears worm-like, but in reality, it has a crustacean-like exoskeleton similar to that of a crab. We can see that it has eight short and stubby legs near its head, with a long, caterpillar-like body behind it. It is swimming through the oil pools of the sebaceous glands, which we commonly refer to as pimples. They are divided into two types, Demodex folliculorum D, folliculorum, and Demodex brevis D, brevis. These two species can be distinguished by their preferred living area. D. folliculorum likes to live on the surface of the skin, such as in hair follicles and pores, while D. brevis prefers to live deeper under the skin's surface, in the sebaceous glands surrounding hair follicles. Compared to other parts of the body, the facial skin has wider and more numerous pores and sebaceous glands, which is why demodex mites tend to prefer living there. However, they also inhabit a few other areas such as the chest and genital regions. In a study conducted by North Carolina State University in the United States, scientists found that this mite species parasitized 14% of the participants. And on the face of all the participants, the DNA sample of Demodex was found. This shows that we all have mites parasitizing on our faces with a relatively large number. American scientists affirmed that every eyelash has two parasitic mites, and a small mite colony can reach up to hundreds or even thousands of individuals. Moreover, the number of mites on each person's face varies. Even in the same person, one half of the face may have more or fewer mites than the other half. Here is an image under 400x magnification. This one looks quite fat, chubby. This baby's food can be bacteria living on the skin or dead skin and oil from the sebaceous glands. It must be said that there is a whole community of extraction, oil from the pores of our faces. At this point, are there any of you wondering if you should continue to kiss your lover's cheek? Why are you crying? And it is a fact that they only come out at night to mate and then return to the pores, and then the female lays eggs around the nest, the area where the pores live. These guys, my face is like a hotel by the lice. Come eat and mate right on your face. <laughs> However, they do not lay many, just one egg, because the size of the eggs is too large, one-third to one-half the size of the female. The strange thing about this species is that they do not have an anus. So what if you eat without pooping? Will they explode because of the accumulation of too much waste in the body? The truth is that their bodies accumulate waste over time, until death. Therefore, when a demodex dies, their body dries up, leaving waste all over our face. At the same time, when the lice die, they release substances in the body. These substances contain bacteria and toxins that cause irritation and inflammation. 
Not only that, human skin changes gradually over the years, with age and weather. This causes the sebaceous glands to produce more fat, to keep the skin moist. Demodex lice feed on this fat, and as a result, the population of Laos species skyrockets. Those who naturally blush, then appear more dark red spots, causing uncomfortable itching, most likely to have skin disorders and have the number of Diomedex lice up to 10 to 20 head slash CM2. Dozens of times more than ordinary people, only 1 to 2 children. So is there any way to get rid of this type permanently or not? The answer is no. Although there are many treatments to eradicate Demodex lice, we cannot permanently eliminate them. They will reappear after 6 weeks. We spread lice through contact with other people or from blankets, pillows or towels. And according to scientists, there is something very special about the human face that attracts the Demodex louse. Even if you have eliminated them, they will still be infected again, because they are ubiquitous and like to live on people's faces. More terrible is that people can be infected with Demodex lice early on, this lice is transmitted from mother to baby when suckling or the baby is infected from the mother's genitals at birth. According to experts, the amount of Demodex is also associated with human immunodeficiency syndrome. People with weakened immune systems because of HIV infection or cancer often have large numbers of these lice living on their skin, in fact, this lice and humans have a symbiotic relationship. That is, even if they eat something on the human body, it is not harmful to people. Or even, they are beneficial to people, when they eat up dead skin or bacteria that are harmful to the skin. However, to avoid trouble from this uninvited guest, please keep your skin clean at all times. Do not leave excess sebum on the skin too much and in an environment that is too hot and humid. Either way, Demodex lice remind people that we are not simply ourselves but are the home of countless other parasites such as ticks, fleas, bacteria, worms. After watching this, have any of you suddenly seen a tickling face like they are crawling on your face? Please let me know your opinion. The video I would like to end here, don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel to support me to make more videos. Hello and see you soon.